Is Andrea Brody here? Yes. I'm Marky Martin with KOCO5, and you are our teacher of the month. The best surprise, if you have been tuned into our show, specifically this 9 o'clock newscast, you know we have partnered up with Quail Creek Bank to help out Oklahoma teachers, surprising them in class or at community events, live on air with $1,000 for their kids, their classrooms. And we wanted to loop back in with our first teacher of the month, Andrea Brody with James Griffith Intermediate in Choctaw. She joins us this morning along with one of her students, Peyton. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are y'all? We're good. Good. Thank you for stopping by and hope you had a Merry Christmas. We <laughs> wanted to see how the classroom, how the kids have been doing since we last surprised you. That day was kind of crazy, huh? Y yes. But once it settled down, what did you tell me to go do? Get on the computer and look at something? Yes. A specific list? Like the video of the cameraman coming into the classroom. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and you I understand you had a big portion and a big help in deciding, Miss Brody, what to do with that money that you want. Mm -hmm. So you got a thousand dollars. And what have you done with that since then? We went to uh, my Amazon wish list. I things that I put on there that I thought I'd never be able to get for our classroom, but you know, one can dream. And he knew that we had that wish list because we've talked about it. And so as soon as things kind of settled down, he was like, let's pull it up and look at it and see what we can get. So we started talking about it and he was over my shoulder and looking and trying to pick. And, and that's also different. You were just telling me that there were some computers maybe mm -hmm. at some point that you'd like to get as well. Some Chromebooks because we do daily work on them. They do um, Lexia reading, which really helps increase their fluency and phonics. Then we do Moby Max every day for fact fluency. Some are working on addition and subtraction. Others work on multiplication. Um, then we, they take AR tests and then we also use them you know for free time sometimes if they want to do some cool math or things like that but uh, we'd like to add a few more we have three and I'd like to add two more okay so. and remind viewers for those who weren't tuned in that day the, the grade of your classroom mm -hmm. you know just about your school sure. I have third fourth and fifth graders um, my classroom it could be described as self-contained, but it's not. I describe it as fluid. I have kids that come to me for an hour a day for one subject, and I have kids that stay with me all day for all subjects and only go out for uh, PE, music, things like that. So we have, you know, eight, nine, ten different kids and eight, nine, ten different levels in my classroom. Um, majority of them have an autism diagnosis. Um, they all bring something very unique to the classroom and uh, make our day interesting. I have three amazing assistants that there's no way I could do any of my job without yeah. them. Um, in fact, I wish I could have brought all of them today. I know, we wanted to meet everybody. So, I know, I, I wanted to, but I didn't want to like overwhelm everybody with, with, <laughs> Next so, time. Many, with so yeah. many people. But yeah, no, I could not do my job without any of those people, um, my three ladies that, that help out so much. and. Um, and Peyton, how excited were you and your friends the day that we came and said, surprise, you're getting $1,000. Did you know immediately that that would do a lot of good? Yes. Uh -huh. I was like really excited. I, uh, I was like... In kind of disbelief, right? I yeah. was like... <laughs> like like what's happening here <laughs> in shock you know who else was excited griffith yeah he and tell was... us about Gr griffith again yeah we had to what is he he's a see a, a therapy poodle? a see a therapy dog uh yes uh-huh and he he's pretty cuddly isn't he and, and Peyton also showed me you have a class gecko and a turtle too and a turtle and we've hatched chickens in our <sighs> classroom from that we have chickens at home and we've you know gotten the eggs and stuff and and hatched chicks last spring and um, we did caterpillars and butterflies last year so we're always oh I called a, doing all kinds I of called on one stuff. of the ch chicks you called, called one of the chickens I called them one of the, uh, named one of them and I called named one of them called Tor 
torch chick, like a Pokemon. Oh, a Pokemon <laughs> character. Torch chick, Dave, Mario. That's so fun. <laughs> I love it. And if you would mind, talk about being an, a teacher in Oklahoma right sure. now and what this money really means, especially well, during this time. I, I was kind of hoping you would ask something like that because I was thinking about it. Um, I'm actually alternatively certified to teach. So, and I know sometimes that can have um, a bit of a reputation, but I, I grew up a teacher's kid and I guess it just kind of, I eventually fell into that and decided that that would be what I wanted to do. I taught second grade for six years and I loved it. However, class sizes even then were so big that I felt like I wasn't reaching my kids. So I kind of always knew I wanted to go to special education and so I took the test and I've been working on my master's. I'm about a year away from graduation um, to get my master's in special ed and I feel like I'm reaching the kids better because it's more one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So I look at my colleagues and their class sizes of 25, 28 kids and they're in there by themselves with no help. At least I have my three assistants and I, I feel for them because it's a lot to reach all of those kids and give them all of their needs. It's crazy. So the money that we got for our classroom, um, you know, I, I wanted to go out and buy stuff for every classroom yeah. to share with everybody because I know how kids. much they could use it, especially with class sizes being what they are and our state being the, the state that it's in. Um, you know, we need more teachers. We need more qualified teachers. So. Uh, well, you're a shining example of what yeah, a teacher certificate can provide to a whole classroom and a whole school of kids who really needs it. So we were so happy to uh, surprise you with that thousand dollars. We're glad it's being put to good use. Peyton, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> Hope you had a Merry Christmas and keep me posted on what you keep buying for your classroom, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for your time here. We're going to go give Peyton a tour of the studio. KSU <laughs> 5 News at 9 o'clock. We'll continue right after this break.